Hey, Mike, this is Alex with Diamond Digital, and I wanted to produce this website review for you. Thanks for reaching out on Facebook, and we're going to cover a few things that you can do to improve your rankings on Google. I'll keep it short. I know you're busy, and I don't want to waste your time. So feel free to take these tips and put them to use, and I look forward to following up with you and getting your thoughts on them. All right, we're going to cover a few things, content, citations, and backlinks. As they say with Google, content is king, and it's the most important thing the bots look for. So I've got your site pulled up here, and it's a great looking site. Looks like you've done some great work at the FedEx Arena there, and some other great projects you've got here. So um, again, good looking site. Got a decent amount of content on here, but we're really looking for 1,000 to 1,500 words on the homepage, and about 500 to 750 words on the back pages with some keywords in there. And the reason for this is you need authoritative and unique content that's relevant to your industry. So for example, when someone searches for epoxy floor Memphis, Google's looking to send them to a website that's relevant to that search. These are buyer intent keywords and these are the ones you really wanna target. Now pulling up one of your competitors here, Memphis Coatings, they've got a decent looking site here as well. And they do have a few hundred words of content on here, but not, enough and you can definitely you know get a thousand fifteen hundred words with some keywords and really start outranking them um, over here at memphis garage and closets another competitor again decent looking site and a few hundred words of content not too much so moving on to a tool that we like to use over here called hrefs this lets us see what's working well for websites and what's not and we can see here, you've got 536 keywords and 73 cl clicks a month coming to your website. Going over here to the competition, uh, Memphis Coding, 251 keywords, only three organic traffic. So they've got some spammy links coming back here that's not letting them get traffic. So another one over here that's uh, Memphis Garage and Closets, uh, 32 clicks a month, 528 organic traffic or keywords. So going into yours, we can see here, you do have a lot of clicks per month coming in, but your name is Industrial Solutions. So you're actually getting searched for industrial applications and application that gets searched for hundreds of times a month here. And um, you're getting some clicks for that quite a bit. So um, what you want to focus on is the buyer intent keywords with the location. So those are kind of the ones you want to dig into here and see which ones are getting traffic and go after those so we'll look at those here in a second um, for your website it looks like concrete contractors in memphis that gets searched for 70 times a month it's not hard to rank for at all you're in the 31st position for that so if you see here the position you're in for all these ones with memphis um, is not too great so there's some work to do there flooring solutions in memphis so there's quite a bit of volume that gets searched for your industry in this location so you really want to do some work there and start targeting those um, over here at uh, memphis coatings again they're not getting too much traffic they've got some spammy links links but they do have some of these keywords built in there that you want to focus on um, now moving on to citations citation is when you type those buyer intent keywords into a google search the first thing you'll see up here are google ads and people are paying to be up here at the top um, the next area you'll see here is Google Map Pack or GMB, and it looks like you might have a Google ad out there for this one, actually. Um, so what gets you into here are citations, and that's your business's name, address, and phone number listed in different directories across the web. On places like Facebook, Yahoo, Yellow Pages, YP, City Star, there's hundreds of them out there, and it's not hard to get listed on them. It's just really time-consuming. So going over here to WhiteSpark, this is a tool we like to use that uh, shows us the citations. And we can see here that you've got eight, Memphis Garage has 14, and Memphis Coatings has one. So that uh, what you want to do is go into these uh, directories and see which ones they're getting listed at, and then go after about 100 more so they can't catch up and you're staying at top of this map pack without having to pay for ads. Um, now, the third thing we want to cover is backlinks, and backlinks are just any other links from other websites pointing back to your website. And it's kind of like a popularity contest with Google. The more backlinks you have pointing back to your site, the more relevant it is to Google. So not all backlinks are created equal. You don't want to have one coming from a caterer, for example. So looking at the information here, you can tell you've got 628 over here at um, Memphis Coatings. They got 478 and over here at uh, Memphis Garage, they've got 485. So similar to the citations, you want to go in here and see where 
they're getting backlinks from, go after all of those and then a bunch more so that they can't catch up. Directories will sometimes create um, citations for or backlinks for you. Um, see ports.com, yellowpages.com, those are directories creating backlinks there. Commenting on blogs with content that's relevant to yours will help and asking friends to link back from their websites will help as well. So in closing, we want to recap what we went over. You really want to get a lot more content on this homepage with keywords that are targeted so you can start drawing more traffic in. 1,000 to 1,500 words on the homepage, 500 to 750 words on the back pages. Citations, you need to get out there and get into all of the directories that your competition is in and then a bunch more so they can't catch up and you're not having to put, pay for ad placement here. And backlinks, you want to go in here and see where your competition is getting backlinks from. Go after all of those and then a bunch more so that they can't catch up. And you can get that from citations, commenting on blogs, and friend sites linking back to yours. And if you implement these three strategies, you can definitely start outranking the competition. I hope that you found this video informative. And again, feel free to take these tips and do what you can to improve your traffic with them. Thanks for your time. And I look forward to following up with you and getting your thoughts to see if you'd like to know more on how we can help you grow your business with these strategies. Just imagine what your business would look like if you were getting all the traffic that uh, Memphis Coatings and Memphis Garage and Closets is getting. Thanks again.